As many of you that were smiling because it wasn't everybody. I decree and I declare nothing takes away that smile from your face again. It is smile for you all the way. I stand against everything and everyone that wants to wipe away that smile from your face. In the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, nothing wipes away this, this smile. In the name of Jesus. As we switch to you are faithful, I heard in my spirit, <laughs> You will see my faithfulness on next level. I have discovered that whenever God decides to give me a particular character, He wants me to know that what I did in the life of that person is what I'm about to do. When He gave me Father Abraham as our character, the month of January, now He gave me Ruth as character for this mom everything that mocked her as a prayer was going on the place Ruth was mocked the situations that mocked her the place you have been mocked the situations that have mocked you the same thing will honor you for the glory of our Lord in the mighty name of Jesus this is what he has said is just a declaration the same place the same situation i asked a question why did he say that i'll make it i'll prepare a table a feast in the presence of your enemy your enemies they mocked you i'm not taking them away but right before them i will also honor you they will stay alive nobody kills nobody's killing anybody they will be alive the same people will come to you and say ah sister meg ah, ah. So this is how your God is. Sit down. After everything that happened to Ruth, I want somebody to read, to read for us. Ruth, chapter 3, verse and verse. 10 and 11 after all that happened to her after all that happened to her after all that happened to her everyone that says you will not smile everything that has sworn you will not smile comes under God's judgment in Jesus name Amen. Ruth chapter 3 verse 10 and 11 yes mama and he said blessed be you of the lord my daughter story change message you. changed blessed be you now hmm. that wasn't what was um the story of ruth the story of ruth initially was not like had nothing to do with blessing okay mama continue your change has come Amen. i'm speaking to somebody your change has come your change has come your change has come just as the change of nigeria is here on wednesday the lord said to us and the officers were worshiping i am on the move i have moved and when the lord moves whatever you see well you just take it if he wants to confuse if he wants to turn the table upside down but he's on the move god is working for you god is working for us okay mama continue and he said blessed be you of the lord my daughter yes for you have made this last loving kindness greater mm. than the former mm. for you have not gone after young men mm -hmm. whether poor or rich mm. and now my daughter mm -hmm. fear not I will do for you all you require. Did you say that? For all my people in the city know that 
you are a woman of strength wow worth bravery <laughs> capability <laughs> all of a sudden everybody now wants to be like Ruth She's now a character that people will have to study and honor. But there is something that change did not just come overnight. I know Mama Lizzie loves the story of Ruth. Yeah, I can see, see, I can see the way she's looking at me. I know she's one of your favorite characters. <laughs> Praise the Lord. But the mother-in-law said something in verse 1 of that chapter 3. Mama, read. Verse 1. Yes, ma. Then Naomi, mm -hmm. her mother-in-law said to Ruth, mm -hmm. My daughter, Shall I not seek rest? If a human being said that, imagine what God had decided to do in your own life. Shall I not seek rest? Or a home for you that you may prosper. Praise the Lord. I want you to pray. First of all, thank him for what he has done. Thank him for the change. Thank him for the transfer. Thank him for honoring you. Thank him for who he is. Pray as you're seated. In that your seated position. Thank him. Our God is too faithful. You're still here because of him. In Jesus' name. Now, the second prayer is a prayer point. Ask him to give you your word. Somebody shared a testimony with me and she also shared with some other people. She said that before she appears here every Thursday, she says to God, give me my own word. And she receives her word every Thursday. Tell God to give you your own. I need one. For that situation, there's a particular situation, I need a word from you. This is a prayer I used to make people pray before. And then I stopped. But I'm going to make you pray that prayer again now. Everybody look up. Say to God, I don't want to hear Mommy Mokolo. I don't want to hear Mrs. Mokolo speak. I want to hear you speak. Because you're not going to get anything from this one. But you receive from him. Tell him, I don't want to hear her. It is your voice I want to hear. It is done. In Jesus' name. As we were taking the prayer point, we were taking the prayer, I just said in my spirit, and at that point I got up. I heard in my spirit, I have received all the prayers you have prayed. And if he has received, that means it's done. Your hearts are changed already. <laughs> in fact, you find yourself doing certain things that you're asking yourself, uh uh. That's not normal. But the Holy Spirit will remind you the day you asked him to give you the heart of Christ. And then you know you're only manifesting the heart of Christ, not your own. Praise the Lord. We serve a great God. I discovered something in the story of Ruth. By the time we got to verse 3, okay, everything started praising Ruth. But Ruth went through a lot. Now, most times, people don't know that the reason why that God permits them to go through certain things is only to form character in them. I said something to one of my daughters. I said to her, the way it is in the church now, no respect. Like, I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. If you get to a church and the church is full to the brim, and an elderly woman walks in, nobody stands up. They look at her. God bless you, ma'am. We'll continue. Hey, Pastor. There are things that, that once you are in Christ, if the Spirit of God is in you and you allow His Spirit, He will just lead you to do certain things. 
without even knowing. An elderly woman came to me this morning and greeted. I couldn't sit. I couldn't sit. I had to stand up to respond to that greeting. That you're a servant of God does not mean anything. That God that blessed you with gifts does not mean that you should not have respect. <laughs> it doesn't mean that you will not have character. Because some of you are so blessed with gifts that you can see and even see into heaven. And based on that, based on the gifts that he has given to you, oh, anyone you see, well, they are below you. Ruth was a woman of strong character. And character don't just come like that. Oh. Oh. It comes via experience. Experiences. You will go through things. And the reason why God will allow you to go through those things is, okay, I'm forming something in you. But God made me understand, once you receive Christ, you're ready, you're meant to manifest the life of Christ, the character of Christ. But the only way that character can be made manifest is him allowing you to pass through things. Pass through certain things. <laughs> I have been hammered by situations, by words of men, by things. And it got to a point in my life I said something to somebody. The Lord had made my skin so thick. Nothing can penetrate anymore. So whatever you see, it doesn't change your character. Your character remains the way it ought to be. Based on certain things like that. It can be sickness. God wouldn't put it, put it on you. But he wants you to come to the point where your faith begins to speak. Yes. It can be that you don't know how to trust God. And you just allow certain things to happen around you. He wants to bring you to the point where you trust him the way Shedra, Meshach, and Abednego trusted him, the way Father Abraham did, he wants you to come up to that place. Until then, you won't be able to bless any other person. Ruth, couldn't, there's no way Ruth could have been a blessing without certain character from the heart. She was so kind, she was diligent, and the mother-in-law, she was the one enjoying all those things. Until character, I mean good character, right character. The character of Christ. Until it is formed in you, there's no way you're a blessing to the world. I think it was Sister Winifred that took prayer concerning character, behavior. Sometimes only your behavior, the words that come out of your mouth, sends people packing. Let's be very careful. Please. Hmm. And by the grace of God, I decided to give today's topic I titled it Walk the Walk and it's from Ephesians 2.10 Walk the Walk W-A-L-K The Walk W-A-L-K Please let's open to Ephesians 2 verse 10 Every living thing comes with a character even spirits, they have character. Or don't you know? Do you know that the Holy Spirit has his own character? Character, every living thing. Have you seen flowers that, that I think, I don't know if, it, if it's during the day or during the night, they open up and when? They close up. At a particular night, they close up. That is the character of that particular one. Ants, all these thing, tiny, 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 tiny things that you could just scorch anyhow. They have their own character. Every living thing that God has created comes with a character. Wow. Before we read Ephesians 2.10 God is looking for a man or a woman who will yield to his purpose and seize the day for his glory. We are his workmanship. But the only way that could happen, the only way that can happen is allowing our character to be the right character. If not, he won't be able to... If God has said he wants to use you to bless a particular 
um, family. First of all, he needs to plant in you kindness. That's a character. Ruth was so kind to the mother-in-law. Too kind. That Boaz had to say that you, the whole, everybody here, we are, now know you have been so kind. But at a point, he even said, this one that you have done, this kindness. Do you know that if you're the type that read the Bible or you read books and you see and you're able to read in between, you will understand the only reason why Ruth agreed to marry Boaz was to give name to the dead. Not for herself. Was to bring honor that was taken from Naomi back. That was the reason why. If not, why should I marry such a man? In fact, I had to check. How old was Boaz when he got married to this girl? Because if you read your Bible very well, you will discover that Boaz called her my daughter. Why should I marry such a man? For somebody else. Your character can make you. Your character can break you. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. He's looking for a woman, for a man, who will yield and allow him. Thank God for that um, short um, message that Sister Blessing gave to us. A perfect heart is that heart that is ready to yield, that will allow him to search out. And he corrects. He picks out, this one is like this. You are wrong here. I need to change this. Allow me to change it. That's a perfect heart. And that is the yielding we're referring to. Praise the Lord. Please read Ephesians 2.10. Ephesians 2.10. Yes, ma'am. For we are God's own handiwork. Yes, mama. His workmanship. Yeah. Recreated in Christ Jesus. Now, I need you to underline if the Bible is your own. If you're not with your Bible, write it down. If you have a notebook. Recreated. Recreated. Hmm. There's a change here. So, you can only recreate something that's been created before. Mama, continue. Recreated in what? Recreated in, in Christ. Not in the world, not in flesh, not in any other thing, but in Christ. Yes, Mama, continue. Born anew. <laughs> that you may do those good works. The reason why you are recreated is to be able to do good works. You cannot do good works. You don't have the capacity to do it. So I laugh when people say, ah, ah, mama is like this. Mama, uh, I think I told that. You people don't know me. Every time you see something good, you're only seeing Christ at work in me. If you take him away, you only see evil. It's the truth. No man has the capacity. So don't even boast. Don't even think that you have something. Because that good that you think is good before God is like a filthy rag. The only good that is accepted before God is the one that is carried out by Christ in you. Yes, Mama, continue. That we may do good works mm -hmm. which God predestined, <laughs> planned beforehand. So he already planned beforehand. I remember, I think, after a year, God called me into this assignment. Till today, I'm still trying to understand what um, God means by what he told me after one year. He said to me, go out and do good like my son. Go out and do good. Jesus went about doing good. Go out, do sin. So it's something that had been planned before your mother gave birth to you. That all Sister Lizzie will have to do is good. All Mama Gloria will have to do is good. Dickie Nesobi, good. My mom, good. Nothing short. Nothing less than that. This is what he planned. 
if you want to know in case you don't know so peradventure you're doing things and you know that it cannot be classified as good today is your day because we know ourselves praise the lord yes mama continue that we may do good um, those good works mm. which God predestined planned beforehand for us taking parts which he now do you planned. understand do you understand now do you now understand that when you are able to help somebody pay his rent or her rent that you are only doing something that God planned before he, they gave birth to you eh hmm You decide to love your enemy and you are excuse me and you're loving your enemy all you're doing is what he planned that you must do before your mother gave birth to you so like you're not supposed to take the credit right you're not supposed to, somebody planned this all along remember that our series is it is written um, my story is written somebody already planned this down Somebody, my sister, Sister Gloria, I'm so excited. Wow. I remember that the person that invited Sister Gloria to this ministry looked at Sister Gloria one day and said, Thank God I invited you to the ministry. Because the person saw and he can still see the great work that God is doing through Sister Gloria in this ministry. So, it, it, God planned this before she was giving birth to before the person that invited her to the meeting was, he already planned everything down praise the lord you're so blessed you don't know that you're so blessed you don't even know that you're so loved you're so blessed maybe you don't know that also god planned that pharaoh be pharaoh eh you're not thanking God that he did not that wasn't his plan for you oh. you see listen to me when I decide to write a book eh, and I have like 10 characters there I have the power the right and the authority to assign everybody what I want them to do in that book if I need somebody to be a robber I will assign it to Mr. Somebody or Mrs. Somebody mm? <laughs> you are not assigned to be a robber you are not assigned to be a witch. This is what he had planned for you. I think you need to, we need to give God thanks for maybe 20 seconds. Thank him. Not because he saw anything. He saw nothing in the life of Jacob. There was nothing. Nothing. And he chose him. Father Abraham was, an, was a hidden. He chose him. Thank him. That I am here. You have not chosen me for evil. But for good. Planned before time that you go about doing his good. Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name. In Jesus' name. My sweet sister, continue. For, for us taking part which he prepared ahead of time. Yes. That we should walk in them. Hmm. Living the good life. Yes. Which he prearranged. Pre -arranged. Living the good life which he prearranged. He did not, his plan wasn't a bad life for me. But I have to walk the walk. It won't just drop. Permit me because I have to, I, I, I use them, um, so many people, as um, my example. Sister Lizzie, Pastor Lizzie gave um, testimony concerning her own life. Did it just drop? Answer me for those that know Sister Lizzie. Sister Lizzie, stand up for people that don't know you. She was doing so well. She was doing well. She was doing well. I will use your story, honestly. She was doing so well. 
that they even got a place. What I think with everything inside, nothing less than five million to start up her own thing. And in case you don't know, she's a good cook. I have eaten from her food, her pot. So she's a good cook. If she bakes cake for you, you won't eat any other cake. But she abandoned everything to follow him. You must be ready to follow the plan of your creator. If she had not made up her mind, you see, God can reveal a lot to you. You still have the right to say to God, no. I'm telling you, and nobody will question you. Because he gave you that right. It's the truth. He said, I've given it to you. I give you will today. So you can make any choice. Whatever choice you... So, see, eh, <laughs> I learned a lot. Oh. One of my sons taught me something. I taught Dot. I, I, I shared it with Dot. He said to me that God, after creating... Mama, you can sit down. After creating Adam... <laughs> He brought the animals to all the animals to Adam. Okay, let me see what he's going to do. I want him to name them, but naming them, I also want to know what he will do. Seeing all these animals, all, all uh, um, Adam did was just name them, and he sent them away. On your way, all of you, elephant, bye bye, lion, as great as you are, eagle, as beautiful, you just go, dove, bye bye, everybody go, named go, and God decided to create another being brought this same creature creation to Adam and Adam chose God did not first Eve on Adam Adam was one that chose oh okay this one is like me so this one is a bone of my bone flesh of my flesh I call her Eve. She's woman. And that day, Eve became his wife. God didn't give Adam any wife. Adam chose. He, that's the way man is created. You have the right to choose and nobody will question you. So God can call you into a particular assignment. God can say to you, my daughter, this is the path I want you to follow. You have the right to say to him, no. And nobody will question you. Even God won't question you because he gave it to you. That will. Well, God will not question us. <laughs> but heaven and earth and everything will question you. Even your children will question you. Because nothing will work well. Nothing will work right. At a point, your children will get to a particular prayer meeting and they will be told, now like your mama nine the cousin. She's the Jonah in that family. Not that the woman is a witch, but she left the path of God. Hmm. <laughs> well, I have good news for you. Your story is not like that. I know how your story ends. Because you're hearing the truth and the truth will set you free. There is nothing that sets one free. But the truth. Prearranged, made ready. I had to take note of this. I want you to take note of it if you have your notes. Recreated in Christ. Do good works which he planned beforehand. I must walk in them. Living that good life which he pre-arranged made ready before now praise the lord i have another sweet scripture that i want us to look at second corinthians 5 17. therefore if any person in bracket is engrafted in christ the messiah he is a new creation. Let me define creation. The action or process of bringing something into existence. A new creation. Christ in you. 
actions that you take everything that you do bringing this life of christ in you into manifestation hallelujah this is the life and character of christ that is in me design formation molding putting together constructing creation constructing a new creature moral mental sorry a new creature altogether the old in bracket previous moral previous that's why is recreation recreated previous over now you're a new person and because you're a new person you can't carry the same old character the character too must change let's see second peters chapter one please mom i want you to read from verse five If you have amplified version, you're free to read. The reason why I always call Mama is because she's one person with amplified version. I love amplified version. Second Peter chapter one, from verse five. This is the character of a believer. Yes, Mama. If you're a believer in the house, please raise up your hand. Awesome. Okay. So this is our character. Yes, Mama. For this very reason. Yes, Ma. Adding your diligence yes. to the divine promises. Mm -hmm. Employ every effort in, in exercise. When you talk about employing every effort, I can ask if you're a servant of God, you're in ministry here, yes, stand up. Yeah. Yes. Sister Bill, hopefully, you're meant to stand up. All the chapter heads, you're meant to stand up. I remember when Sister Blessing was meant to attend her child's graduation and she told me, I said, well, I agree. Oh, um, I also left my child's graduation one time for this assignment. I think Sister Obi also left something. You cannot get into this assignment and not leave things. Mama, you're a minister of the gospel. Stand up. You cannot. It's not even possible. It's not even possible. There are certain people that we don't even know what they are doing is amazing honestly sister pat you're number one she still runs her the eatery on saturday she still follows me to most saturdays she still follows me to aja oh yeah yeah actually what am i trying to say i'm not trying to praise these people i don't praise people it is god that praises people i can say very well i can give you kudos and say congratulations but praise, that one belongs to God. Let him praise you. Yeah. Praise is from men. Mm. I might praise you today, tomorrow I won't. Hmm. But if it's from God, it's perfect. The only reason why I wanted you people to stand up is just to prove this scripture. What mama read. You employ. You put everything in it. You put everything in it. You put everything in it. I think there was a time we had something. Sister Gloria had to stay over for three days or something. She didn't get home. She did not get to her house. In fact, her husband is the best. Why? Now, let's look at that. God, knowing, okay, that's going to be my daughter's assignment, decided, planned, prearranged, and gave you the kind of man he gave to you. Most of you, you're having something and you don't even know that it's for his assignment. That the husband he gave to you, he gave to you because of a particular mission. Hmm. You think it's to be a Mrs. Mrs. Simo Valeria. <laughs> I like the smile on a particular person's face. Now that you have heard this, your own husband is here. Your husband, you will understand that, oh God, you gave this man to me. Do you know why we read the story of Ruth? God gave Boaz to Ruth for a particular reason. <laughs> hey. Even the children given to you. Even the children given to you. These ones that you could think that they are nothing. Thank God they were the ones that shared testimony today. Praise the Lord. <laughs> even the children given to you follow reason. 
for a reason. Even when it seems like that man is even against you. Ah, please, um, let me tell you something. God is only using him to bring out certain qualities in you and destroying others that are in you that are not meant to be there. Sit down. Mama, read. For this very reason, having your diligence to the divine promises, mm -hmm. employ every effort in mm -hmm. exercising your faith mm -hmm. to develop virtue, excellence. To develop virtue. What is virtue? Behavior. Showing high moral standards. Some of us don't even know there are places that we're not meant to speak. For those that love chewing gum, we don't even know there are places you shouldn't chew gum. We just do things. Behavior showing high, not low, not medium. High, that's what God expects of us. High, moral standard. How do you feel? When people say to you, oh, your child is so well behaved. How do you feel? When the teacher says uh, the opposite. How do you feel? Well, that child will receive some egg back when we get home. What did you do? You have disgraced me. You won't even say to the child, you disgraced you, you have. It is me. You have disgraced me. You see, some of us, sometimes we even disgrace God also based on our character. Our behavior. And God, well, but God is awesome. Praise the Lord. He can keep up with everything and everyone. And that's why he's God. <laughs> Virtue. Behavior showing high moral standard. Integrity. Honesty. Respect. These days, when someone says to you, you call someone on the phone, you say, where are you? They say, I'm, I'm very close. I'm, in fact, see me. You're just... Um, the person that is entering your compound now, 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 now. And we are all Christians, though. See, we all used to lie. But now, there's this change, recreation. In Christ, I cannot lie. Let's understand that all we're talking about is, is in Christ. In Christ, there are certain things that I cannot do, that are not allowed. Mama, continue. Christian energy and in exercising virtue, develop knowledge, intelligence. If, if knowledge will have to come, I have to exercise virtue. If you give it to me and I don't make use of it, then I'm not going to see knowledge. It's not going to show. I have to exercise everything. I have to exercise what he has given to me. Praise the Lord. Mama, continue. And in exercising knowledge, Hallelujah. develop self-control. <laughs> and in exercising self-control, self self-control, that is just one thing most of us don't have. I know God is still dealing with me. Oh. Self-control. Before your husband is done saying A, you have given him B to Z. It's lack of self-control. You can't control your mouth. You can't control, you can't just control that anger that is always welling up inside of you. When we're even meant to fast, we're still eating. Thank God, them um, Dickiness Obi reminded us that on Thursdays we fast. Because I think some people, they, is it that some people don't know or they have forgotten. We fast on Thursdays. Self control. Self control is very, 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 very 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 important very important self control self control self control self control there are people they just buy things self control because they cannot control anything self control self control self you okay mama and exercising self control Develop steadfastness. You see, if you're able to be able to develop self-control, you will discover that you're a steadfast person. 
you'll be able to exercise that as well. Because the fruit of self-control, the spirit of self is inside of you. You become a self, a steadfast person. Yes, mama, the next one is godliness. And the next one is brotherly affection. And I call that kindness. And the last one is Christian love. Christian love. That one is what you see at the bottom. Christian love. That is, okay, this is King James, if you're using Amplified. Christian love is the last one. Why? Because I have to exercise all the others for this one. Christian love to be made manifest. Remember, that love is kind, long-suffering. So that's why love is last there on that list. The meaning of character is just mental and moral. Mental and moral quality. Is a mark, sign, symbol, quality that makes a person a person, that makes a group a group. Like in watch meetings, we have our own quality character. A group a group or a thing, a family a family. Hmm. Character is also formative ex experiences, things you go through that form certain things inside of you. Something that is engraved into us by the experiences that we have as we go through life. Based on what you go through, certain things are engraved. I said something to somebody. In your heart, you have different compartments. You have different compartments. That is drawers inside your heart. In that my heart, in that my heart, if I look at a particular compartment, I have certain things that I love about Sister Winifred, and I have another compartment, I have things that I hate about her. Engraved. And based on those things that are engraved inside of me, you see what you see. You either see love, you either see long-suffering, or you see opposite. Praise the Lord. So we must watch. Thank God for the prayer we prayed. We must watch what we allow to get into us. Character building is action of constructing. You have the right to build. If you see something in somebody, you can, call, you can say to God, I want it. This woman is just a very quiet woman. You know, I never see her get up. I know God that this must be from you. I want it. You're free to ask God for that. That's part of character building. Every new character. Well, I think I'll just skip that. Let me go straight to the main point. We must put up a fight for this character. You must put up a fight. You must get ready to fight. What fight? Fight of faith. Enjoy the rigorous fight of faith. Rigorous. You must fight. Paying, attent paying attention. Be attentive. Detailed. Be careful. This will take us out of our comfort zone. Every time you want to do a particular thing that you're not used to, it will take you out of your comfort zone. Most people don't like leaving their comfort zone. Your comfort zone is just that place you like. You know, most of the time, when you get back home, you're so tired and you're just watching TV and what you're, you're just watching, for you, is, is, a, is like what you use to relax. And before five minutes, your husband is back and the next thing he says to you is, I am hungry. And what I want is pounded yam. It just got you out of your comfort zone. And if you're not a patient person, you just get upset. Because it just got you out of your... So every time we leave our comfort zone, character makes you, character building gets you out of your comfort zone. It is not comfortable to be kind. It's not comfortable for you to take what you want to use and you give to somebody else. If it's comfortable, raise up your hand. It's not comfortable. There are so many things you want to do with your own thing. And there are so many things you want to do with your own time. And God decides to take that time from you. And he says to you, go and, go and pray for a particular person. Go and evangelize. Go to this area. Do this, do that. He's just getting you out of your comfort zone. And getting you out of your comfort zone is building a particular character inside of you. 
Character building requires determination. You must be ready to go all out. Sacrifices, commitment, faithfulness, the grace of God, prayer, 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 prayer. You pray yourself into it. Father, I know that I don't know how to love. Help me. I cannot love my enemy. It's impossible. I pray that prayer for myself. How do you tell me to love my enemy? I know that this person wants to kill me. And you still say I should love the person? Well, that's out of my league. I can't do that. So I need prayer got me there. So for character building, prayer is necessary. And what we saw last week at um, Awoyaya, align yourself to walk right with the Holy Spirit. Align. Align. Make up your mind to walk with Him. Every instruction given, make up your mind to obey. While the prayer point, while the prayer, the intercession was going on, I got a prayer point. Maybe you should pray it now or you take it home. You can write it down. Deliver me from the spirit of lawlessness. Deliver my children, deliver my husband, my wife from the spirit of lawlessness. We just do anything. Align yourself, align self to walk right with the Holy Spirit. Follow, obey his instructions, follow his leadings. Align self to walk according to God's work is not easy. Character makes us people of strength or weak people. I want you to stand up. Right now, you know I said something to somebody. The devil will have to find something in you, a particular character they can use against you to be able to work against you. He will have to. That's the only way he works. He will look for a particular character. If she's a talkative, he will look for it and he will use it. If he cannot find anything, well, he will only keep, just keep searching. Jesus Christ said, and the God of this world found nothing in me. When the devil appears around you, what is it that he, is it doubt? Is it fear? Is it that you don't have respect? I'm going to say to you what I said to one of my daughters. In the world that we are in now, people don't use their common sense anymore. Well, I don't think it's people. I think it's the church. I think we believers. After giving our lives to Christ, what we do is that we throw common sense away. We have a place that common sense fills up in our lives. It is common sense that when the message is going on, that nobody should come and drop something here. But if we don't make that announcement, some people will still do it. So like, where did the common sense go to? It is common sense that it is common sense that when an elderly person is speaking to you, you, you're younger. If, if you cannot kneel, you should be standing. And you just sit down and cross your leg. Yes, continue when you're done. I remember something that my late mentor said. Well, that's for Living Faith Church. That these days, when you get into the church, and she, she does not take nonsense. When you get into the church, children that are like um, maybe favor, what they say to you is, um, um, is our new dawn. And she, she's like, no more greeting again. Everybody, everybody is now equal. Common sense. Before I say to you, is our new dawn, uh, for God's sake, there's a place. Most of you that came from Sister Gloria's place, what's that greeting? I love that greeting. It's not me, what, what? There's a greeting. See, we, look. Christianity did not say that you should throw your culture away. I'm telling you. 
am now a Christian. For that reason, I cannot use the word migo. It is better to say it's our new dawn than good morning. In case there's a problem with your own common sense, please pray for yourself. I have discovered, I have seen it. It's just, it's taking over. Maybe you don't have a problem with it. Your children, pray for them. There are certain things that are meant to be common that we are meant to know. And I said to that, my daughter, when you give birth to a child, a child knows how to suck. Common sense. You don't teach that child how to suck. The child knows how to eat automatically. In fact, that same day, that same hour, I just bring out that baby. After one hour, the baby, and you carry the baby like this. I'm telling you, you hold the baby like this. The baby is just looking for something because the child knows there's something. Common sense. So if a child can exhibit, a baby can exhibit common sense, where is our own? Where did he go to? Faith threw it away. Everybody is now... Pray for your children. Pray for them. You still have, you still, it's still in your own power to teach them common sense. It is common sense for you to eat and clear your dishes. It is common sense. Most of them don't know again. They eat, they drop it. Some of us, we wake up in the morning, we don't even know what it is to, cl to clean the room or lay the bed anymore. Ah! It is prayer. I need to pray. The Lord dropped something in my hand. The Lord dropped it and because of that, you're not sleeping. Because of that, you... What's that? It's all part of the character formation. Probably, it's possible that your own character is perfect. Please pray for your own children because maybe your own character is perfect. And as you're praying for them, those things that are in you, that you know, uh -uh, this is not what it should be like character of a Christian, Father, this it has been going on inside of me for too long and I am tired of it. I don't want it anymore. I am envious. Jealousy is still there. I'm always angry for no reason. We call it mood swing. Now I'm happy. The next second I'm not happy. In Jesus name I want you to know that the Lord has sworn to bless you but you must align I received the grace in fact this is the way we prayed it anoint me with your anointing to be able to align pray for yourself anoint me with your oil to be able to align that your will be done in my life. Help my thoughts to align. Help my words to align. My work must be aligned. Walk the walk. My work must be aligned. That your will be done. That your will be done. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we receive the grace to align. This morning I saw a particular watch maiden. She was already outside. That was in a revelation. She was already outside. Not aligned. And by the grace of God, God helped me to pull her back. To align. And by his grace, every one of us, we align. In the name of Jesus. And because he has sworn that in blessing he will bless us. Because of this grace, we walk in that blessing. We walk in his blessings. In the mighty name of Jesus. No watch maidens will walk outside the blessings of the Lord. Thanks for joining us in today's service. However, 
We would love to know how the sermons are impacting your lives. Please send in your documented testimonies to watchradiantsint at gmail.com. God bless you.